They don't like me talking. Church leaders don't like me talking. By the way, I've been already attacked. Oh, what a feeling, Toyota. I got nothing to lose, baby. I got nothing to lose, my dear friend. So find someone else. I'm a Middle Eastern guy. I am very stubborn. <laughs> so you're, you're fighting against the wrong person. All right, here we go. So the British people or the British government, there are some wonderful British people. And my prayers and my love for every British resident uh, of, 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 of England or Great Britain or whatever you want to call it. I love the British people, but I'm talking about governmental system. We said the empire is a pagan, a pagan sort of uh, government without the rule of God. It's a government uh, system without the rule of God. So they came up with this idea of establishing East India Company, um, which was established by British Empire. The reason for that was, through the East India Company, the British established a warfare to rule the world. So this British um, uh, East India Company, it was to do with spice trades with India. That was the outside banner. We are trading spices between us and India, but in between those spices, warfares. Why? Because they wanted to create wars in order to reduce the world's population and have control over humanity. Now, the East India Company was dissolved by Queen Victoria in 1874. So you could see it's going back a couple of hundred years. So Queen Victoria at the time realized they are doing some sneaky work behind the spices. Very spicy. <laughs> right? Let's sell some weapons. Very spicy. So Queen Victoria in turn, she dissolved East India Company in 1874 precisely. Did they give up? No. Thus, they changed its name to East India House instead of Company. And what they did, the name was changed to Chatham House afterward. So from East India Company to East India House to Chatham House and stopped creating warfare but continued the same mentality to control the world. They started seeking alternate ways to control the world since the queen went against them and stopped that a trade of weapons they said okay no more warfares let us come up with other brilliant ideas on how to control the world Chatham House some of the members let me call out some of the names they may sound familiar to some of you Chatham House some of the members Woodrow Wilson from 18, he was born in 1856, died in 1924. Charles Darwin, oh ho, hello, anybody home? You see, these things they don't teach you at school. Charles Darwin, 1809, 1882. Another member, Karl Marx. Anybody? Who's Karl Marx? The founder of communism. Charles Darwin, evolution. Anybody home? These were members of Chatham House. Who is Chatham House? East India House. Who is East India House? East India Company that came up with the warfare to control the world. These people that I'm calling their names out were atheists to the core. Atheists to the core. Hated Jesus Christ because he is the only true God. They don't give one penny about other religions. With all love and respect to all the other religions, they don't give one penny. Because the one who is behind the false prophet is Satan. Satan hates Jesus, our Lord. That's why you invoke the name Jesus, all hell breaks loose. And when people want to attack any 
any uh, religion out there, they always attack the Lord Jesus. Thomas Malthus. Thomas Malthus, my beloved, 1766, 1834, he died. Thomas Malthus, his idea at his time was to bring the world's population to 500 million people only. That was his initiative. So this little boy called Bill Gates, he gets the idea of Thomas Malthus back in, in the 18th century. The world's population must be reduced. Because he said it has to be reduced to 500 million. Uh, Bill Gates says around 1 billion. I just get a life, you little puppet. Jesus Christ always rules and reigns. No one does anything without his permission. So be gone, little kids playing in the street. And another one, interesting, very interesting figure. Ce uh, Cecil Rhodes, 1853 to 1902. Let's talk about Cecil Rhodes now, please, please. It's very interesting, a bit of a history here. Cecil Rhodes. Has anyone heard of the round table? Can you put your hands up if you have heard of the round table? Oh, not bad. Pretty good. Excellent. The round table is a secret society that was started around the turn of the 20th century by Freemason and Rothschild agent Lord Alfred Milner, who was entrusted the mission by Cecil Rhodes. Cecil Rhodes entrusted them with this mission to establish the round table, which is a secret society. Cecil Rhodes continues, in his will, Rhodes devoted his entire fortune to the creation of the round table groups. He said in the will to and for the establishment, promotion and development of a secret society, the true aim and object whereof shall be for the extension of British rule throughout the world. His whole intention for Great Britain to rule the world. And he would do anything and everything to make sure that comes into wishing. Continues. Rhodes made his third will leaving everything to Rothschild, his entire fortune, his financier in the mining enterprises. So Rhodes leaves all his fortune to the Rothschild. The organization was run for Rothschild by Milner. The round table worked behind the scenes at the highest levels of British government, influencing foreign policy and England's involvement and conduct of World War I. So who's behind the wars? Satan. Yes? Nothing to do, oh, this guy stole my land, and this guy stole my uh, internet idea, so I'm going to go and bash him up. No, it's about controlling the entire human race. Satan's idea, which he failed to establish in heaven, he said, I will succeed in establishing this idea of one government system that will enslave everyone and subject everyone to its system. This idea Satan brought from heaven to establish on earth. We are encountering the very, very enforcing of it at its beginning stage. The round table. Now, I'm cutting it very short. It's an extremely long history. The first two groups created by the round table. Look so, look, so the round table created these two groups. These two groups are still in existence. One in, in England, the other in America. <laughs> so the, the first two groups created by the round table secret society were the British Royal Institute for International Affairs, RIIA, in 1920, and the American Council on Foreign Relations, CFR, in 1921. So the RIIA and the CFR, both of them were created by the Round Table. The Round Table 
had 12 members, all 12 members, atheists to the core, doing one thing, to wipe Christianity. That's why Christ is out of the way. We can do whatever we want. Now I'll come to the church role at the end. I have to confess one thing. Today I was very angry. In a sad way. In a sad way. But we need to pray. We need to pray. The CFR. Council on Foreign Relations. Later the plan was changed to create an um, Austin... Uh, ostensible uh, autonomy it had to be made to appear that the CFR which is Council on Foreign Relations and the RIIA British Royal Institute for International Affairs were independent bodies they wanted to to, sh to reflect this picture they are totally independent no both of them were created by the round table lest the American public become aware of the CFR Council on Foreign Relations was in fact a subsidiary of the round table group and react in patriotic fury this is the group which designed the united nations the cfr slash r i a method of operation is simple they control public opinion it has influence and power in key decision making positions at the highest levels of government to apply pressure from above and also announces and uses individuals and groups to bring pressure from below so pressure from above and pressure from below and they have influence on who's going to be the president who's going to be the prime minister and so on it's a sick 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 world now my dear daughter and my dear son do you want to chase this sick world why are you having fun in a sick world? Where is your Lord? Come back to Christ. Stop going clubbing. That's sick. Stop dressing up semi-naked, my daughter. That is sick. Stop changing your face and your body. That is sick. This is evil. This is the intention of Satan. He has made, the false prophet made an image of the first beast and he breathed into it to bring it alive and forces people on earth to worship this image. This image has been pumped into our heads through technology. How many ads they show you about changing your looks? How much advertisement is there being pumped into the world saying, if you want to do this, we can do it for you. If you want to be whatever, we can change you from black to white, from yellow to red to whatever color you want. Evil. Evil. One world government. Woodrow Wilson. Do you, do you remember this name? This is one of the round table members. Who is Woodrow Wilson? The 28th U.S. President. Wow. He was a member in the round table. <laughs> what are the round table? The false prophet is behind it. He was a president. He was a president of United States, the 28th president. Traveled around the world calling nations to be united to prevent future wars. Well, well, he failed because World War II started in 1939. So he failed to bring all the nations together. But he tried. He was a member of the round table. Huh? See, what was the idea behind that? To make Great British rule the entire world. Bring it all under one system. But he failed. World War II started. <laughs> 